Hey friends. Okay, so the first video I made on how to cut up a t-shirt didn't come out so good. It was my first time editing and I didn't realize that I needed to turn the music down. So you couldn't really hear me talking. So on this one I'm not going to put any music. I'm just going to show you a quick and easy way that you can take a t-shirt and cut it up. It's just a plain black t-shirt. Um, actually, my niece brought this back for me, and it's kind of too small, so I'm going to cut it up and show you how I can make it fit me better. I drew around the collar with sidewalk chop, and I drew it along the back of the t-shirt so that I could make sure to get the front collar off as well. You could cut both sides front and back, but I cut through the t-shirt together. I'm going to show you that now. This the worst of none of this the this the worst of none of baby. Shady, I'm the man, ah. and I think you ought to know that. Hey, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> hey, Billy hey, 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 T. You know what I'm talking about? We ain't here, baby. This your boy, Brill Fly. This dope boy. Yeah, I'm a bad girl. Get a good girls wanna date me. It probably be the reason why your boyfriend. Okay, so now I've just cut the collar off of my T-shirt and. Now it has kind of a boat neck, and I always stretch the shirt to give it the rolled look I was saying about. And so now I've just cut off the collar. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to keep this video a lot simpler than the first one, and I'm just going to show you guys the same technique on both sleeves, where I'm going to just cut stripes in it. And I'm going to draw a sidewalk chalk first to show you where I'm going to cut the stripes. you can see the lines of where I cut where I'm going to cut I'm gonna cut the whole entire edge of the sleeve off to get that seam off so that I'll have the curled effect all the way down to the end and then I'm just gonna cut the stripes of the shirt of the, of the sleeve and then I just stretch them because like I say it looks that's the effect you're going to make sure I cut the same amount. OCD. Hey, same thing on the other sleeve. I'm going to start off cutting off about a half an inch. I just cut it off to where the stitching is and then I'm going to cut um, stripes into it about I would say two inches long from the top so it'll be two inches on both sides. 
plans to advance to yeah, a whole bank. Holding hands, wedding no bands, sorry baby, no thanks. Got a couple wits that look like different colored crayons. After handling in business, I got Gucci seats to lay on. I'm a bad girl getter, good girls wanna date me. That probably be the reason why your boyfriend hate me. I know you wanna fuck me, your friend wanna rape me. And now I'm going to know. show you how I do uh, the stripes in the back. And I just want to make sure that I have the words on the front so I don't cut that. And then you're just going to want to take your t-shirt, fold it in half, like so. Close the sleeve and let the front come through. So when you're cutting your lines, you won't cut through the front too. Okay, I'm going to take a piece of cardboard, just a piece of plain poster board, and I'm going to lay it on my shirt. This is the back of my shirt. This is the bottom. This is the top. My sleeves are right here. So I'm laying the, the cardboard at an angle so that I can get my stripes to come down to a point. And I'm going to use the chalk to show you where I'm going to draw the lines. I'm going to have stripes all the way to the top of my shirt, but these ones I'm going to keep at an equal distance going sh straight down. So I'm just going to start with my chalk. Now I'm just going to cut the stripes that I've just drawn. I'm going to take my cardboard away so you can see that it does come down at an angle. And this will be the part that is closest to the bottom. stripes so here it is the cuts and I again I'm going to stretch each one individually out to the end but be careful because you cut the t-shirt so it is like a little fragile out here at the ends but I do pull it all the way to the ends to give that curled up the rolled up can't explain how I do me, this is how I do I got the game down pat and I don't know about you But I'm a bad girl, get a good girls wanna date me It'd probably be the reason why your boyfriend hate me I know you wanna fuck me, your friend okay, wanna so rape me Now I've finished rolling, pulling out all the stripes on the back And I'm the shirt is complete now, it's really cute to wear right now But I'm gonna add just one more detail to it um, to make it just a little more, I feel like it's going to make it a lot cooler to wear in the summer. The more holes I feel like I put in it, the more holes the air can blow through. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the same type of stripes again going down either side. Probably only go, say, halfway. Because on the back, uh, where my stripes are, they end right here. So I'll probably start my stripes that are going to go down the side at the same level as the last stripe on the back. So again, I'm going to just make sure my shirt is folded in half. And then I'm going to draw with the sidewalk chalk again so I can show you guys um, where I'm going to be putting the, the stripes at. And I'll do that on both sides and then I'll show you. Okay. So I just finished drawing my stripes on the bottom half of my shirt on both sides and now I'm just going to basically be cutting the stripes in and then 
I'll put the t-shirt on and I'll show you guys um, what it's going to come out looking like. And I'll probably make another video using the same t-shirt and I'll show you guys another cool thing to do. But I just don't want this video to get too long and complicated. Um, I just want to show you just a little bit of the ideas that you can do on a t-shirt to make it uh, unique. So now I'm just going to cut the stripes and then I'll put the t-shirt on. Um, one thing I forgot to tell you that I'm also going to do is the same thing that I did on the sleeves, which is cut the seam completely off at the bottom. Um, I just think that having the seam kind of, uh, gives you something that you don't want whenever you're trying to have a rolled up type look. So I'm going to cut the last stripe all the way across. Now, okay, on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to cut the stripes that I've drawn on with the sidewalk chalk, and, and I'm going to put the shirt on and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm done um, cutting the sides of the shirt and the bottom off. And now I'm just going to stretch out all the places that I've cut. Both of y'all go in your rooms. Both of y'all go in your rooms. I don't want y'all arguing in the back of my movie. You get out of here too. I don't hear. Don't let me hear another word or you won't come back in here. And we ain't going to the store tonight because y'all don't know how to act. Now get out of here. Okay, so I just finished cutting the stripes into both sides of my t-shirt. And now I'm going to go through and I'm going to stretch all of those sides. Um, this right here, as you can see, it's going to give it the good look that you're after, but also, like I said, this t-shirt was like a kind of tiny bit too small for me, um, and then after I washed it, it even shrunk a little more, so by putting these, um, the space in the shirt, it's going to give it a lot more room, and in the summertime, I don't like wearing tight stuff, so, um, so pretty much this is the look, and I'm just going to... Stretch the bottom also as well because you want the bottom to roll up too. You don't want to have any harsh lines. And so now I'm just going to put the t-shirt on and I'll post some pictures at the end um, showing you, you know, what the t-shirt looks like on. Um, I hope this video is way better than the first one. I'll probably go back and delete the first one completely. So um, just again, if you have any more suggestions of videos that you'd like to make, um, please go ahead and just leave them in the comments below. Um, also, don't forget, you can check out my Pure Romance uh, website. And just thanks again for subscribing and watching. I think I'm doing too well. Been off in these streets too much. Been chasing these hoes too much. Been up in these hoes too much. Chasing these hoes too much Been up in these hoes too much